Throughout history, humanity has pushed the limits of engineering and speed on water. From the blistering speeds of World War I battleships to the technological marvels of today, some vessels have redefined what it means to be fast. But which ones stand out the most? In this video, we'll dive into the top five fastest ships in history. We'll explore the incredible stories behind these vessels, their groundbreaking designs, and the missions that set them apart. Whether you're a history buff or just fascinated by speed, this is one journey you don't want to miss. From the roaring 20th century to cutting-edge innovations of today, get ready to set sail with us as we count down the fastest ships ever to hit the water. Number 01. USS Olympus the USS Olympus was an experimental hydrofoil developed during the 1970s as part of efforts to create high-speed naval vessels. Hydrofoils are ships equipped with wing-like structures beneath the hull that lift the vessel out of the water as it gains speed. This reduces drag dramatically, allowing for much faster travel compared to conventional hull designs. Details of the USS Olympus Hydrofoil Design the hydrofoil system was the core of the Olympus's speed capabilities. As the ship accelerated, its hydrofoil wings generated lift, raising the hull above the waterline. This minimized resistance from waves, enabling extremely high speeds. Performance The Olympus reached a record-breaking speed of 116 knots, 133 ms or 214 ki or meter, which this speed was achieved under controlled experimental conditions, and the ship wasn't equipped for combat or heavy payloads, focusing solely on testing hydrofoil technology. Purpose and Testing The primary purpose of the Olympus was to evaluate the feasibility of hydrofoils for naval applications. During the Cold War, there was significant interest in creating vessels capable of rapid deployment and evasion. While hydrofoils promised these advantages, they also faced challenges such as high maintenance costs, limited operational range, vulnerability to rough seas and underwater obstacles, technology and power. The Olympus was powered by advanced turbine engines, similar to those used in aircraft, which provided the immense thrust needed to achieve such speeds. The lightweight design and streamlined shape complemented its propulsion system. Legacy Although the USS Olympus did not become a practical naval vessel, it influenced the development of hydrofoil technology in both military and civilian applications. Its record-setting speed remains a benchmark for naval engineering. Why it wasn't deployed in combat Despite its speed, the Olympus had drawbacks that made it unsuitable for widespread use. Vulnerability to damage, foils were sensitive to impacts operational complexity high fuel consumption the legacy of hydrofoil experimentation like the olympus lives on in modern high-speed ferries and niche naval vessels the lessons learned helped refine hydrofoil designs for more practical applications in both civilian and military domains number two hsc francisco the hsc Francisco is a high-speed catamaran ferry, renowned as the fastest commercial passenger ship in the world. It operates between Buenos Aires, Argentina and Montevideo, Uruguay, across the Rio de la Plata. Key details of HSC Francisco. Speed and record. Top speed. 58 knots, 67 mph or 107 km h. This speed is achieved through its dual gas turbine engines, making it faster than most naval vessels and the fastest in the commercial ferry sector. Design and construction. Built by INCAT, an Australian shipyard specializing in high-speed vessels. It is a catamaran design, meaning it has two hulls, which provides stability and reduces drag at high speeds. The lightweight aluminum construction is critical for achieving such speeds. Propulsion system, powered by two gas turbine engines, similar to jet engines. These turbines drive water jets. Instead of traditional propellers, ensuring maximum thrust with minimal resistance, fuel innovation, the Francisco uses liquefied natural gas, LNG, as its primary fuel, 
making it environmentally friendly compared to other ships of its class. This dual fuel capability, LNG and diesel, represents a significant step forward in sustainable maritime transport. Passenger and Vehicle Capacity It accommodates 1,000 passengers and 150 cars, showcasing its dual role as a high-speed ferry and a practical mode of transportation. Despite its incredible speed, the ship provides a luxurious and comfortable travel experience for its passengers. Operational Purpose The Francisco Connects Two major cities across a wide river, significantly reducing travel time compared to traditional ferries or road routes. It is a vital component of the transport infrastructure in the region, catering to business commuters and tourists. Legacy and Significance the HSC Francisco represents the pinnacle of high-speed commercial marine transport. Its innovative design and eco-friendly propulsion system set a benchmark for the future of ferry operations. While its speed cannot match experimental military vessels, it is unparalleled in the realm of passenger ships. Number 3. Soviet Ekranoplan the Lund-class Ekranoplan was a remarkable hybrid vessel developed by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. It is often referred to as the Caspian Sea Monster due to its enormous size and ability to glide just above the water's surface using ground effect technology. Key details of the Lund-class Ekranoplan Speed and Record Top Speed 55 knots, 63 mph, or 100 km mh. While slower than some hydrofoils or smaller ships, its speed was impressive given its massive size and unconventional design. What is an Ekranoplan? An Ekranoplan is a ground-effect vehicle designed to fly a few meters above the water's surface. It achieves lift through the ground effect, which occurs when a wing operates close to a flat surface like water, creating a cushion of high pressure. Air. This combination of flight and maritime operation reduced drag and allowed for high speeds compared to conventional ships. Design and Capabilities The Lund class was 73 meters long. With a wingspan of 44 meters, it was armed with six P-270 Mosquet Sunburn anti-ship missiles, making it a formidable naval weapon. Its size and payload capacity made it a strategic asset for rapid missile delivery and troop transport. Propulsion System powered by eight Kuznetsov NK-87 turbofan engines, mounted on the forward fuselage for maximum thrust and lift. These engines enabled the Lund class to glide efficiently over water, even at high speeds. Operational Role Designed for rapid response and deployment during Cold War tensions, its low, altitude and high speed made it difficult to detect by radar, giving it a stealth advantage. Primarily used in the Caspian Sea, it was intended for naval operations like missile strikes and amphibious assaults. Drawbacks and challenges. Limited. Versatility. Effective only over flat, calm waters, which restricted its operational range. Maintenance issues. Its complex design and high fuel consumption made it expensive to operate. Replacement by modern technology. Advances in aircraft and naval vessels rendered the Ekranoplan concept less. Practical legacy and significance. The Lund-class Ekranoplan remains one of the most unique vehicles in military history. Though its operational use was limited, it showcased Soviet engineering ingenuity and ambition during the Cold War. Today, it is a subject of fascination for engineers and historians, symbolizing a bold but short-lived chapter in naval innovation. Number 4. HMS Hood The HMS Hood was a British battle cruiser, widely regarded as one of the fastest capital ships of its time. Built during the post-World War I era, it combined speed, firepower, and striking design, earning it the nickname the Mighty Hood. It served as a symbol of British naval dominance before its tragic end during World War II. Key details of HMS Hood Speed and record Top speed 32 knots 37 mtm or 59 km h 
At the time of its commissioning in 1920, this speed was remarkable for a capital ship, which traditionally sacrificed speed for heavy armor and firepower. Design and construction. The hood was classified as a battle cruiser, a hybrid between a battleship and a cruiser. It featured lighter armor than a battleship, enabling it to achieve higher speeds while still carrying heavy caliber guns. At over 860 feet, 262 meters long, it was one of the largest and most powerful warships of its era. Armament, the hood was equipped with eight 15 inch 381mm main guns and 12 5.5-inch 140mm secondary guns, making it a formidable force in naval battles. Its firepower rivaled that of many full battleships, allowing it to engage both capital ships and smaller vessels effectively. Operational Role Initially designed as a response to the German Imperial, Navy's large battle cruisers played a major role in the Royal Navy's fleet as a flagship and deterrent against naval threats in the interwar years. Participated in high-profile missions, showcasing British naval power across the globe. The Tragic And on May 24, 1941, during the Battle of the Denmark Strait in World War II, HMS Hood engaged the German battleship Bismarck, a catastrophic explosion, likely caused by a hit to its poorly protected ammunition magazine, led to the hood sinking within minutes. Of the 1,418 crew members, only three survived, marking one of the most significant naval tragedies of the war. Speed versus Protection Trade-off The hood's relatively light armor, designed to prioritize speed, made it vulnerable to modern naval artillery and shell penetration techniques. This design trade-off was a defining characteristic of battle cruisers and a lesson learned in naval engineering. Legacy and Significance The HMS Hood remains an iconic symbol of British naval history. Its combination of speed, firepower, and grandeur captured the imagination of the public and naval enthusiasts alike. Its loss during World War II underscored the risks of prioritizing speed and firepower over protection, influencing future warship designs. Today, the wreck of the hood lies at the bottom of the North Atlantic, a solemn memorial to those who served aboard. Number 5. USS Independence, LCS-2 the USS Independence is a modern, literal combat ship LCS, of the United States Navy, designed for high-speed shallow water operations. It represents a new generation of naval vessels with advanced features tailored for versatility, speed, and modularity in coastal environments. Key Details of USS Independence LCS-2 Speed and Record Top Speed 44 Knots 51 Mindis Pinch or 81 Kiwedor Mach. This makes the Independence one of the fastest active ships in the U.S. Navy, capable of outpacing most conventional naval vessels. Design and Construction Built by Austal USA, it features a trimaran hull design, three parallel hulls, that provides stability and allows for high speed maneuvering in shallow waters. Its unique design is made from lightweight aluminum enhancing speed and fuel efficiency while maintaining strength, operational role, designed for littoral, coastal operations, including mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare, and surface combat. Ideal for missions near coastlines, where traditional warships might face challenges navigating. Versatile and modular, it can be outfitted with mission-specific equipment. Depending on operational needs, armament and defense systems, armed with a 57 mm MK-110 gun, small caliber weapons, and surface-to-air missiles, can carry and deploy helicopters and unmanned aerial systems UAS, for reconnaissance and strike missions. Includes advanced electronic warfare systems and radar for defense and surveillance. Propulsion system. Powered by a Kodak system combined diesel and gas turbine engines, which provides both speed and efficiency. 
Water jets are used instead of traditional propellers, reducing underwater noise and improving maneuverability. Crew and modularity operates with a small crew of about 4075 sailors. Depending on the mission, thanks to automated systems and efficient design, modular mission packages allow it to adapt to a wide variety of tasks, including humanitarian aid, anti-piracy, and combat operations. Drawbacks and challenges Criticized for its relatively light armor, making it less suited for heavy combat against larger warships. Early operational deployments revealed maintenance and reliability issues, which the Navy has worked to address. Legacy and Significance The USS Independence represents a shift in naval strategy towards smaller, faster, and more versatile ships capable of operating in diverse environments. Its high speed and adaptability are well suited for modern naval. Challenges, particularly in contested littoral zones, while still a relatively new design, it reflects the Navy's focus on future threats and evolving maritime missions. And there you have it, the top five fastest ships in history. From groundbreaking wartime innovations to modern engineering masterpieces, these vessels remind us of humanity's relentless drive to conquer the seas and push the boundaries of speed. Which of these ships amazed you the most? Or do you know of another speed demon we should have included? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and we'll see you on the next adventure.